Hey guys, I am back out here on my little trailer and the back is done. Daniel's up on the roof right now, roofing, so he's up there. I get a picture of him, he's hiding. So we're putting the uh, top on it to get ready. This is all the uh, caulk seal around all the screw joints. All the sides are on. We've got more windows going on. There's a battery door one. The other battery door is being made. And then right here is a window here. Uh, standard RV mobile home window. I guess you call it a mobile home window. You see it there. The, uh, the trailer is coming along. So we've got all of this up here now. This is all 3 8 roof sheathing on top of it with the extra insulation and the extra rise. So what we've got is we've got a regular a two by three stud and a one by three laying flat on it and they're like a T. So it's giving us a grand total of about uh, three and a quarter inches. And then we laid a, a foam layer on there that's a uh, resistant for whatever the E-coat stuff, um, foil stuff. So that's all on there now. All the windows are going in everywhere. There's one of the lights mounted. We still have to uh, mount a few of them out here and get the fenders on. But the process is continuing. We are still in the process. So just getting y'all heads up on it. And I'll show you the final when we start to pull it out, how the roofing is gonna be put up here on the top. All right, now guys, what we're doing up here is we're using the gardener. All of this gardener works unbelievably well on mobile home roofs, uh, travel trailers and stuff. And using the wet or dry, you can get it at either uh, Home Depots or at Walmart. I get it a lot cheaper if I order it at Walmart. And they also carry this one which you can get in the gallon bucket also, which is just as good. These are rubberized sealants and they work, they're adhesive rubberized and they work good on all kinds of metal. Um, right now what Kira Marie is doing is she is using alcohol to prep the edges. So all these edges have to be prepped with alcohol uh, using just the standard bottle of alcohol. And you see what she's doing here, just pouring it on there and then taking paper towels and getting the oxidation off so you'll see the oxidation comes off and that way this stuff sticks really well now these screws that you'll see going through this they have been dipped in that sealant and they are put through so the threads in their entirety these are just inch and a quarter and their threads in their entirety is dipped in the stuff in this can and then shot in so there's no chance of even water weepage which would go around the thread and go down and rot your wood. So that solves that problem. There's the vent to be put in. This metal is 26 gauge aluminum that came from a, a solar array for water, for hot water, a, a solar water heater that had froze up and we collected this down in Nevada from a job site we replaced with new solar collectors. Um, that's what I do my, mostly as a hobby that pays. So right now, as she gets most of this primed, each one of these sheets will be flipped over and then put and attached onto the front of this with about a three inch overlap. And we're using a wide four inch putty knife that will go down on the wood, a film on the wood that's about a sixteenth of an inch and then about an eighth of an inch of it on both so that when it the metal comes over and goes that far past and is screwed down, it's going to literally make a permanent seal. Now, to add to that, we're gonna be using a silver RV or mobile home roof coating about six inches wide rolled over the top of this real heavy to seal every one of the screw patterns that's on here, including the outer edges that are out here and all down here. The metal is currently running two inches past the edge. The flashing is on and it is using a siliconized mastic seal that embeds, and of course it's put on with nails, but the screws will go through this surface about an inch in, and then the metal will roll over, and there'll be a row of screws just like these at about two inches apart that will run all the way down the rim 
at about an inch and a quarter down right here so that we seal the whole thing up using the same stuff but in a caulk tube over there sorry so there you go um, the plumbing vents are through the other vent is ready to be prepped and dropped in place as soon as she's finished with this sheet and these kids aren't afraid of heights they get out here and work on this stuff all the time so what she works on right now is the next sheet and when we get some more of this on here uh, we'll show you how the plumbing roof vents have gone on and how the only vent which is the bathroom right there is going to be installed on the trailer the rest is the rest is a pressurized system so all right daniel right now has been shooting all the screws down his next job is to run this row right here and i'll be putting the vent in as we finish this site all right guys the trailer is done it's done it's going to get right now still got to mount some screen protector on that a little finish work put the final outside trim over the top of that regular galvanized stuff mount a few more lights we got the battery for the electronic jack on it electric jack and uh kids have all been out here working on it tonight this evening so the roof is done it's sealed all the way around but we haven't bent this down till i get that moldable aluminum strips in yet so they're not in yet lights out here are on power boxes are done rear of the trailer is completely done the other side over there is done and inside we still have a little bit to do in this back room but the rest of it is good to go have a door i got to make for that and the water heater to be installed otherwise the thor trailer is a somewhat completed project and we just got to get the racks for the solar to put the solar on it but that'll be another day we have done what we planned on doing so out it goes and in comes another project we're going to gut an old holiday rambler and turn it into a cargo trailer we need for moving a lot of equipment and stuff they'll be a week or two but here we go kind of nice got a few screens to replace other than that out we go and how you like my new lights i put in there i think there's a video i just uploaded it's got that covered in it but all the rest of this is just what we have decided to build with it look at that nice mirror tin on those windows that came out pretty good didn't it all right guys i'll show you a nighttime picture of it sitting out there on the truck outside ready for the big snowfall coming tonight Hey, don't look too bad. Hooked up to the truck. 